Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to NFTHUD.io. So today we're going to do a quick breakdown because the last video that I made was about 46 minutes. I want to do one that's less than 15 minutes. So let's get started and keep this going super quick. It is time to level up and game on. So I did a complete breakdown for you guys, which we're going to take a look at this one right here in a minute. And you guys will understand what this is about. In the meantime, let's look, go over this real quick in the Telegram. They did mention that there was going to change. I think that there was going to, and then there was a change of mind. So let's go real quick right here. In the telegram, it says, in order to minimize inflation and stability of the price of Alex and to ensure the sustain sustainable, sustain sustainable, you guys know what I mean. Yes, I have a little bit of um, tongue twist. I had my tongue cut when I was a child, but okay, keep going. Playing field for the community, we would like to announce that we will reduce the fighting turns of heroes. That's what they said at 2.40 a.m. The archers were going to get one, fighters were going to get two times, destroyers going to get three, wanderers were going to get five, and templars was going to get eight. We will keep the 50% bonus until further notice. Now, it seems like they had a change of mind down here. At 9.20 a.m., this is roughly about, what, seven hours later, we received a lot of feedback from the community about the deflation mechanism for fighting PVE. So we will upgrade to the second version with deflation mechanism. Tax calculation for early withdrawal or withdrawals. Okay. Now, most likely what that means is that when you come in here <clears throat> and you do your winning and especially I would say most likely it's probably for the farming. When you're farming, I got two of them farming. And in case you're wondering, currently it is roughly about 4.5, 5.2 .5, .5 to 4.5 um, LX per hour. For each archer that you have. The other ones, I don't have these, so I'm not sure. But I know for the archers, it's roughly around 4.2 to about 4.5 per archer. So I'm guessing if you unstake, you're going to have to pay a gas fee. So what that tells me is that most likely, I won't be staking anymore. Because the real money is not in the um, farming, it's actually in the PVE. The PVE fight is what really gets you your most funds. Now, however, I don't know if they're going to change it just like um, Drake Ball did, where you fight, but when you're done fighting, it doesn't go directly to your wallet. It actually goes on the side, and then you have to withdraw it to your wallet. If that's the way they do it, that means there's going to be an early withdrawal fee, so they want you to leave your winnings in there as long as possible. Now, for me, I will be okay with that if I am able to come farming. And then when I pull out, the money goes into an escrow, and I could wait for the time to run out. Or if I do my PVE, and then the money goes in the escrow, and I wait until the time runs out to pull out. As long as I can keep going back and forth during the day, and I don't have to pull out right away, I'm okay with waiting, waiting so far. So now let's get these numbers running so we don't keep this video going for too long. If you, these are the prices for the archers, okay? Archers are roughly around 4,000 um, 4, elix right now. So let's take a quick look. We're going to get to the breakdown while you guys are all here in about two minutes. And then the rest of the video should not take more than 10 minutes. As you can see, archers are about $4,000 on average. All of these are about $4,000. If, if we go to page two, they're still roughly around 4000 So that's where I got the 4000 right here. I want to be as transparent as I can so you guys can see completely this number here or not be yet, and I didn't make them up. Okay, so when, but the real changes comes when you start to get around Wanderers. It changes slightly, and then you go to Templars. Now, the Templars, I put the average price at 130000 Elix. These are the Alix, and these are the dollar costs that it would cost you. For example, Archer, 4000 If we go into Pancake Swap, as you can see, we'll do it over just so we can be transparent. 4000 Alix is roughly around $63, $64 right now. That's where I got the $60 to $70. 
Now let's go back here. Now, by the time we get to the Wanderers, which we're going to take a quick look at, because we want to keep everything transparent. As you guys can see, 2600 2700 down to 30000 The prices fluctuate a little bit on this one. How much do we have here? Wanderers, we have at twenty-five, twenty-five hundred. 2500 So let's take a quick look again. So the price went up already. Wow. Okay, so that means my calculations are going to be even better with the Ultra now. Because the Ultra would be even cheaper. Because they're staying at 4000 while these prices are changing. Less than 30 minutes ago, the average price one was on here was about 25 So we're going to stick to the 25 because that's the number we already calculated. Slightly changes if you want to do it. But again, that just means the Ultra or even a better version. As this gets higher and the Ultra price stays the same. Now, let's go to the Templars. That's why you get a huge difference. Come on. Let's do all. Come on. Here we go. All right. For the templates, I put it at 130,000. Due to the fact that it starts roughly around 100 and, um, uh, 180,000. 108,000, but by the time you get here, you're looking at almost 200,000. This is about 150,000. We got about uh, 112, 124, 125, then it jumps to 150, and then the price gets ridiculous. So, on average, we pulled up a number of 130,000 on average. Now, how many archers can you get? For the same price as a Templar. 130,000. Let's do the calculation to make sure we're still on on track. 130,000. Yep, that's 130,000. That would be roughly around $2,060 or $2,050. We're going to take the average because we're not going to nickel and dime. We don't have time for that. So as you guys can see, 130000 average would be $2,050 for one Templar. As you guys see, I put it here. It's roughly between 2000 to 2300 As I said, we're doing an average because prices are fluctuating. Okay? Now, that means you can get 32 archers for the price of one Templar. Where did I get that number? It's very simple. Let's jump back here again so you guys can follow me and do your own calculation so you don't think I'm full of shit. Here we go. 130,000. Fair enough. 130,000. If you take 130,000 and you divide it by 4,000, which is the cost of archers, so let's go 4,000. Simple. 130,000, how many archers can we get at 4,000? You do it equal, it gives you 32.5 archers, which means I could buy one Templar or I can buy 32 and a half archers. So let's keep it simple. We're going to keep it at 32 archers, which is where all these calculations came from right here. This way it says 32. We're going to do these numbers right here really quick. So let's keep going. Where did I get the average reward of this is how much you get um, Elix that we receive, okay? Archers, so real quick. Arch, one archer will cost you between $60 to $70. One fighter will cost you between $120 to $140. One destroyer will cost you between $200 to $240. One Wanderer will cost you between $380 to $450. And one Templar, as we already took a look at, will cost your average between $1,900, roughly around to $2,300. And this should not be a slash. Okay. These are how many Alex, and this is the average cost of each type. This is for one of each. Now, when you get into your archers, 
when you get into the PVE, where the real money is, this is where the money's at. An archer, we're not going to bother doing. A fighter is still going to break out even. It's going to be four times for the fight versus two. So if you could get two archers, you're still going to end up getting two fights. Two fights, um, there's going to be um, one fight plus another archer. One fight is going to give you four. These are how many fights you get per archer. This is how many fights you get with the actual. So a destroyer gets six fights on the average win rate of Alex at 220. Don't worry. I'm going to show you guys where I get this reward per fight right here. So that means you get roughly around 1,320 elix with a destroyer. With a with a archer, you're gonna get about the same thing. That's why I left these the same. As you can see, two an archer, one archer would be two obviously. A fighter will give you four. If you bought archers instead, you will still get four. If you bought one destroyer, you would get six fights. Same thing with four archers. If you bought archer instead, you still would get six fights. So there's no need doing these. These numbers would stay the same. Where did I get the reward for the 220? Very simple. Let's go back to my previous video that I've made. If you guys watched this video, that's the last one I dropped. That was roughly around... Um, that was yesterday. So let's play this real quick. And I will show you guys. This is where I made... Um, all my fights came out to about $320, $330 in rewards. I turn off the sound because it's just annoying. I get a lot of um, feedback from the speakers. So as you can see, I'm going to do a fight. And you guys are going to see the rewards going to come in. It's roughly around 320 But keep in mind that's with the 50% bonus. We're not calculating the bonus because sooner or later they're going to remove that 50% bonus. Okay, we're going to pause the video right here. This is my reward from one fight with an archer. 337. If you calculate the bonus that they have currently, let's get off on here. Let's go to the live one. This is for my video. Let's go to the live one. If you go into PVE, which is where the real money is at, you see you get a 50% bonus. That's why on here it shows 337, which I it kept saying 331, 330, 332. You can go watch the video. All four fights that I did kept coming out to 330. If I take away the 50% bonus that we're currently receiving, it's going to give us 220 on average. That's why I took a 220 per fight. I don't want to calculate the 50% bonus because we don't know if it's going to last for two, three more days or if it's going to last for a week or two, but eventually it will be removed. So before we finish this right here, let's do this right here. So the calculation that I did was based on this because, like I said, it seems like they had changed their mind. They said since the contract has not been optimized, said this is after they gave this one. They gave this one at 2.40 a.m. and they gave this one at 9.20 a.m. So this is roughly around seven hours later. Seems like they changed their mind because they said... This is a bug that da, 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 they were um, changing this stuff here. We will keep the previous turn count until we, re, uh, until we upgrade to version 2. So that means they're going to keep this until they upgrade to version 2. Elix team, so sorry about that. In PVE V2 version 2, the turn will be kept like B4. So that means the only thing they're going to implement is the tax on the early withdrawal. But the term base is going to stay the same. I don't like to see companies flip-flopping, 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 stop. And also I noticed it says turn will be K-E-L-P, kelp. I think they meant to say K-E-E-P for kelp. But that's okay. Uh, we know chances are English is not their first um, native language. I look for things like that to see how professional the companies are. But again... We can give them a pass on that. So it seems like they're going to keep it just like it was before. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I'm basing my um, calculations on this right here. It is expected that fighting PVE version 2 will be available in the next 24 to 48 hours. So we are sorry for this delay, but it will be a, it will be 
good for Elix to go long term, please understand. I'm okay with that. Listen, if you got to change things here and there, and if they're changing, as long as they don't keep flip flopping, going from here, okay, we're going to do this one, but then we're going to change our mind seven, seven hours later. Okay, keep it the same, put a tax on it. I'm fine with that. So let's go with the calculation so we can finish this video. Now, based on what we already discussed, if you have a Wanderer, you will get eight tries on your PVE. Again, this is the PVE right here. That's where the real money is at. It's not in the farming. It's in the PVE. Based on the PVE fights, one Wanderer will get eight. At an average of 220 Elix, which will give you an average of 1,000 Seven hundred one thousand seven hundred and sixty. If you take into calculation of the eighty percent win rate, this eighty percent here, which means with the eighty percent, with a wanderer, you should make about one thousand four hundred. This is how much it is if you got a hundred percent with the average payout, but we're not going to get a hundred. Because you're gonna lose, you're gonna win only eighty percent of the time. So if you only win eighty percent of the time, you're looking at one thousand four hundred elix. Versus, if you bought archers instead, you would get twelve PVE fights instead of eight PVE fights. Because the one wanderer will give you eight, but if you bought archers instead, you would have um, that would give you six archers. With six archers, with two tr two tries, um, two PVE fights each, it ends up being 12 fights instead of eight. At that rate, 12 fights at 220, which is the average reward, would give you 2,640. If you take the 80% win, win, win rate into consideration, you would end up making $2,110 on average. Which is roughly around, that'll be what, let me, let's see, six. That's about an extra five to six hundred elix. How much is that worth? Let's go to pancake swap. Let's do an average. Let's say just about 450. That's an extra seven dollars and twenty cents on the current um, price of elix right now. Elix to BUSD. Now, here's where it gets super interesting. If you bought one Templar, one Templar will give you 10 fights. One Templar will give you 10 fights. One Archer will give you two fights. We already showed you guys over here with the calculator. You can get 32 Archers for one Templar. So let's go back. One Templar will give you 10 fights. If you bought archers instead, you would get 32, which means you have 64 fights rather than 10. No, I'm sorry. That would, yes, yeah, 64 fights. Holy shit. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to redo this whole thing. I just realized I put 32 here when she, she really should have been 64. Holy shit. All right, guys, give me a quick second. I'm going to pause this video and redo these numbers for you guys real quick because I just cheated us. So four times. So you would end up getting four. Four times two. Give me one second, guys. I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. So, as it turns out, my calculation for the Templar was actually half of what it was. It actually doubled. Because as we stated, you can get 32 archers, which we showed you guys right here. 32 archers for the price of one Templar. So, my calculation was at 32 down here, where I was wrong. 32 archers, they get two PVE fats fight each so that actually gives us 64 pve fights 
versus if you only had one Templar at 10 fights. So this is where the huge difference comes in. Templar, 10 fights. Average Elix, 220, which is going to give you 2,220 reward. At an 80% win weight, you're going to get 1,760. Versus if you have 32 archers, at an average reward of 220, it gives you a little bit over 14,000 Elix. Versus 2,200. Even with the 80% win rate, you still end up with an average of 11,200. In case you guys don't understand what that means, that's over 9,000 extra elix. What is that worth? Let's take a quick look and end this video on this note. 9,000. So if you guys are okay with losing about 140 to $150 a day, go ahead. If you want to call my bullshit, guess what? There's a calculator online. Go do your own calculation. Take a screenshot of this. Verify everything that I'm telling you guys and let me know if I'm full of it or not. I know I'm not because I've done, I've, I've double and triple checked this, this thing. So, what do you want? Do you want archers? Or do you want, when you come here, do you want to fight with archers? 32 archers? Or do you want to fight with one Templar? Or one Templar costing you almost Year. One Templar is $1,900 to $2,300. One Archer is only $60 to $70. Go figure it out, guys. It makes no sense to me. However, let me put this really quick, and we're going to end this video right now after I make this statement. The only thing that would make sense is if, if you fight with a Templar rather than an Archer, the reward is going to be much higher. That's the only way they can save face. I'm not going to fight with one Templar and get 10 fights when for the same amount of money I can have 32 Archers and get 64 fights. Only if the Templar get a lot higher reward. On the base reward, it would make more sense to have a Templar. But also keep in mind, on the Telegram... They did say there's going to be a few things coming out where the Templar is going to be worth having rather than the Archer. Especially with the PvP. Um, yeah, your Archers are not going to defeat the Templar. Yeah, good luck with that. You keep trying that and you let me know when it wins. Just don't hold your breath. It ain't going to happen. But other than that, and other the items they're going to get, unless they're going to implement other stuff. And let's, let's listen, guys. If we can make 11,000. A little, it's actually over 11,000. I'm short everything here. I'm underestimating. Because if you could make, if I say, guys, you could make 5,000, and then you end up making three or 4,000, you're going to be disappointed. But if I could say you could make 5,000, and you end up making 7,000, you're going to be happy. So I'm underestimating everything that we can make. So that way, hopefully, you end up making more, and I'm still in the clear. But if you could make this amount... Three, four, five times a week, or even every day, if you have that kind of money, you can buy yourself the Templar in no time. All right, that's it for this video. I want to keep it short, under 25 minutes. If this makes sense to you guys, which it makes sense to me, because I'm almost at getting my next Archer already. Let's take a look. So far, my win, my winnings are where? Well, let's see. I have 2,400, so today I should make, um, about the next four or five days, I should have enough to get me another Archer. And then it will take me uh, two days less to get my next Archer, and then after that, look at that, the price on the Archers are going down. So the next two to three days, I'll get another Archer. About three, four days later, I'll get another Archer. After that, it should only take me two to three days to get another Archer. And after like a week of doing this, I'll probably be getting an archer almost every day. Because I should be making roughly around 15 to 2,000 elix a day. 
and then I can start getting me an ultra every other day. Eventually, it's going to be one every day, and I will be up to close to 32, maybe in about a month, month and a half, depending on how things go and how, what, what changes or not. But with that said, we're going to end this video. I wanted to keep this one short. I don't want another 40-minute video. I will see you guys in the next video. If this made sense to you, go do the numbers yourself. Double-check everything I said. If I slipped up anywhere, call my bullshit. I'm okay with it, and then we'll go over it, and I'll try to um, update these videos. Other than that, level up and game on. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.